Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the relationship of a triangle with its in circle and in center. Now what is an in circle? Well in circle is nothing but an inscribed circle and the center of the circle is determined by drawing the interior angle bisectors of the triangle. Let's assume that we have a triangle ABC as in the diagram where AB is equal to C units, BC is equal to A units and AC is equal to B units and similarly angle BAC is represented by uppercase A, angle ABC is represented by uppercase B and angle BCA is represented by uppercase C. For this triangle, if we draw the interior angle bisectors, they are going to look like this and let's assume that the three interior angle bisectors, they intersect at the point I and this point of intersection is called the in center. It is actually the center of the in circle, the inscribed circle. And how are we going to draw the inscribed circle? Well, from this point, we have to drop a perpendicular on one of the sides. In fact, I am going to draw three perpendiculars here. Now, each of these perpendiculars perpendiculars will be of equal length and let's denote that as lowercase r which will be considered the radius of the inscribed circle or in circle and now if we draw a circle using i as the center then the circle is going to look like this and as you can see id ie and if they will be of equal length because they are the radius of the circle so each of those three perpendiculars are of equal length and let me make a note here. The center of an in circle is usually represented by uppercase I and the radius of the in circle is usually represented by a lowercase r. Now we have our diagram complete and let's now try to establish the relationships. Now if we think about the area of this triangle, can we consider that the triangle's area would be the sum of the area of the three small triangles which are ABI, BCI and ACI. So we can say that area of ABC is equal to area of ABI plus the area of BCI plus the area of ACI and what is the area of ABI? Well ABI's area would be half times AB times R because R will be considered the height of the triangle. If we consider AB as the base then FI will be considered the height of the triangle which is equal to lowercase r which is the in radius. So here the area of ABI can be written as half times AB times R. Similarly the area of BCI can be written as half times BC times R and similarly the area of ACI can be written as half times AC times R and from here if we take half times R as a common factor then we are going to be left with AB plus BC plus AC and that can be written as R over 2 times what is AB? Well AB is actually lowercase c and what is BC? Well BC is actually lowercase a and then AC is lowercase b and that can be written as R R over 2 times what is a plus b plus c? Well we know that a plus b plus c is the full perimeter of this triangle and that can be written as 2 times the semi perimeter. So we can write it as 2 times s where s is the semi perimeter. Let me make a quick note here that we are going to consider s as the semi perimeter here which will be a plus b plus c over 2. So the area of the triangle ABC if we denote that with a delta sign then we can write it as delta is equal to you see this 2 right here in the denominator and the 2 here in the numerator they will cancel out each other. So we are going to be left with r times s and from here we can say then r is equal to delta over s. And this is an important relationship between the area of the triangle, the semi perimeter of the triangle and the in radius of the triangle. Next we are going to try and establish another relationship and let's see how that works. Now if we consider each of these vertices for example vertex A as an external point outside the in circle then we can assume that AF and AE they are two tangents drawn onto the circle from the external point and from the theorem of circle we know that the length of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle they are of equal length. So we can say that AF will be equal to AE and let's say that is lowercase k. So we can write k over here. So this is actually k right here. AF portion that is equal to lowercase k and AE portion is also equal to lowercase k units. Let's assume that the lengths are lowercase k units and similarly if we consider B as an external point to this circle then BF and B BD can be considered two tangents drawn from the external point B onto the circle. So they also will be of the equal length. 
and let's denote that by a lowercase l and similarly if we consider the vertex c as an external point to the circle then cd and ce they can also be considered two tangents drawn from the external point c onto the circle so they also will be of the equal length and let's denote that with a lowercase m and now if you think about the perimeter of this triangle how is it going to look like well we can say that 2 times s which is the perimeter it will be equal to ab plus bc plus ac now what is ab well ab is actually k plus l and then what is bc well bc will be l plus m and then what is ac ac will be k plus m this will be 2 times k plus l plus m so from here we can say that k plus l plus m is equal to s which is the semi perimeter and from here if we want to say what is the value of k well we can write k as s minus l minus m and that can be written as s minus l plus m within parenthesis of course now what is l plus m as you can see l plus m is actually the bc side which is lower case a so this can be written as s minus a so we have found the value of k so k is actually s minus a and similarly we can prove that l will be equal to s minus b and m will be equal to s minus c and now if you look at the triangle bdi that's a right triangle of course and the angle ibd that would be half of b because bi is the bisector of the angle b so angle ibd that will be half of b and if we look at this right triangle ibd or bid in this triangle if we say okay then what would be the tangent of half of b that will be equal to opposite over adjacent now what is the opposite side well that is actually r and what is the adjacent side that is actually l and l here is s minus b so we can say r over s minus b and from here we can clearly see that r can be written as s minus b times tangent of b over 2 and similarly we can also prove that r will be equal to s minus c times tangent of c over 2 and similarly we can also prove that r will be equal to s minus a times tangent of a over 2 and let me highlight it so this is another set of important relationships between the triangle and its in circle anything that i am highlighting inside a box like here i am using the pink box please make a note of these relationships we are going to need them when we will be solving problems for triangle next we are going to establish another relationship and let's see how that works out in triangle IBD, the right triangle IBD, what would be tangent of B over 2? That will be R over BD. And from here, can we say then BD will be equal to R over tangent of B over 2? And this can be written as R times cosine of B over 2 over sine of B over 2. Similarly, if we look at the right triangle CDI, there again, what would be the tangent of C over 2? That will be equal to R over DC. And from here, we can say then DC will be equal to R over tangent of C over 2 and that can be written as r times cosine of c over 2 over sine of c over 2 and from here if we say bd plus dc that is nothing but the side bc which is equal to lowercase a units so we can say that a will be equal to bd plus dc and that can be written as r times cosine of b over 2 over sine of b over 2 plus r times cosine of c over 2 over sine of c over 2 and this can be written as r times let's take r as a common factor we are going to be left with cosine of b over 2 over sine of b over 2 plus cosine of c over 2 over sine of c over 2 now we are going to add the terms inside the bracket so this can be written as r times what would be the lcm of the denominators well it would be sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 and in the numerator we are going to get cosine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 plus cosine of c over 2 times sine of b over 2 and that can be written as r times and now if you look at the numerator it looks like sine of b over 2 plus c over 2 and in the denominator we have sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 since a plus b plus c is equal to pi radian or 180 degree then b over 2 plus c over 2 can be written as pi over 2 minus a over 2 and that's exactly what I'm going to use here. So this can be written as R times sine of pi over 2 minus A over 2. 
and in the denominator we have sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 and as you can see this can be written as r times now what is sine of i over 2 minus a over 2 that will be cosine of a over 2 and in the denominator we still have sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 and from here what is a well we actually know from the sine law that a over sine of a is equal to b over sine of b is equal to c over sine of c is equal to 2 times uppercase r which is the radius of the circum circle that's the circum radius and from here if we simply say what would be the value of a well a will be equal to 2 times r times sine of a and then we can also write it as 2 times r times sine of a can be written as 2 times sine of a over 2 cosine of a over 2 so I'm converting sine of a into 2 times sine of a over 2 times cosine of a over 2 and that's the value I'm going to use on the left hand side. So then from here we can say that 4 times uppercase R times sine of a over 2 times cosine of a over 2 is equal to the right hand side which is lowercase R times cosine of a over 2 over sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 and if we divide both sides by cosine of a over 2 then these two factors will cancel each other and we are going to be left with 4 times r times sine of a over 2 is equal to r over sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 and from here we can say then r will be equal to the lowercase r which is the in radius the radius of the in circle that will be equal to 4 times the circum radius times sine of a over 2 times sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 and that is the relation that we wanted to establish so let me highlight that please make a note of it that the in radius is equal to 4 times the circum radius times sine of a over 2 times sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 next we are going to see how to calculate the distance of the in center from the vertices let's go back to the diagram real quick and as you can see here the distance of the in center from vertex a is actually a i and similarly the distance of the in center from vertex b would be b i and distance of the in center from vertex c would be c i and if you think about about the right triangle AFI there what would be the sine of A over 2 well the angle IAF will be half of A and sine of that angle would be opposite over hypotenuse opposite is actually lowercase r that's the in radius and hypotenuse is AI so sine of A over 2 will be equal to R over AI and from here we can say then AI will be equal to R over sine of A over 2 and what is R well R we have just calculated it is 4 times the circum radius times sine of a over 2 times sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 and whole divided by sine of a over 2 so this sine of a over 2 and sine of a over 2 they are going to cancel out each other and we are going to be left with 4 times the circum radius times sine of b over 2 times sine of c over 2 and this is equal to a i and that is the distance of vertex a from the in center and similarly we can prove that b i will be equal to 4 times r 4 times the circum radius times sine of c over 2 times sine of a over 2 so the distance of the vertex b from the in center will be 4 times r times sine of c over 2 times sine of a over 2 and similarly we can prove that c i which is the distance of the in center from the vertex c will be equal to 4 times r times sine of a over 2 times sine of b over 2 and this is another set of very important properties so let's highlight that and those are all the relationship that we needed to derive for the triangle and its in circle this brings us to the end of this video hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video